Welcome back to BGP Lifestyle guys. Today we're going to be talking about the best bait caster combo under $100. But before this video starts, I just want to go ahead and let you guys know that we're on the way to 1,000 subscribers. So if you could click that subscribe button down below, that would be great. We have new videos coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on the channel. We might be upping that depending on how the subscriber growth is. So I would love it and really appreciate it if you guys could just go ahead and do me a solid and go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. But yep, let's get right into the video. So this might uh, be something a little bit strange. You guys might have seen this uh, rod either on Amazon or maybe you watched one of my previous videos. Maybe you've seen it when you went into Dick's or I'm not sure where else they sell it, but I know they definitely have it at Dick's that's where I bought it. But uh, there'll be a link down below. It'll probably be the best deal off Amazon. So uh, like I said, Amazon link down below will have it, but this is gonna come in just below $100, I believe. I think it's like a $99 rod. So basically that under $100 mark. Um, my opinion and most people's opinion when you're purchasing a bait caster or a rod in general is that you want to spend a little bit more whether you have to save up and then get it um so if you you could go buy a 40 50 dollar one from walmart i mean it would work but it's not gonna be as smooth just like this one's not gonna be as smooth as a 200 300 plus dollar rod um but overall i've used this a lot so this is pretty much my main rod that i use i have this one and i have another simple uh spinning rod that i use but this is the one that i use most of the time um, you can see here, I just have it set up. Um, I have a previous video, actually, you can, I'll have it linked down below and I'll have the card pop up on the screen now. But I have a previous video showing how I have this set up and everything, and it's one of my favorite spring baits and just overall baits. I've been fishing too much this year, or this whole summer, really. But um, yeah, I just have like a Kraken Craw with a hook on it and a weight, and it fishes perfectly on this. Um, so basically going over these features, um, one thing that's nice to say is that this, this rod has been laying in the bed of my truck for over a year and it barely has any uh, really wear and tear uh, as far as getting some rough use with that. It's been out on boats plenty of times, um, fishing for shore or from shore plenty of times. One thing that I will show you is, if you can see it here, uh, you will see, hopefully maybe, uh, the line has been on there for a long time since I got it. I, I spooled it up with uh, just some standard mono and it's... I, it's, hold, it's held up fine like I haven't had to change the line obviously I should have because it's obviously gonna lose its strength over time uh, but um, it hasn't like got snagged in any of the eyes or anything like that that might happen like has happened with other rods that I've had previously so like I said overall build quality with with like that I haven't had any issues with it um, you've got your brakes on this side here Hopefully you can see it in the light. There we go. I'll probably just have to hold it like this. So you got your brakes on this side, and on this side you got your reel with your drag on it, and then on this side you just have your basic uh, setting knob here. So you can go ahead and crank that baby if you want. I believe this is a seven to one ratio. Um, yep, right here on the bottom it says it on the bottom of the spool, uh, seven to one. So. Basically, if you guys are looking to get into a bait casting rod for cheap, you can go ahead and grab this for, like I said, $100, free shipping on Amazon. Great with Amazon Prime, you'll get it in two days. Um, you might be able to find it at Dick's or something like that. I'm not really sure if they're stocking these anymore, especially around this time of year. Um, I believe this is a six foot, it's about six six or six seven, because it just fit in my six six bed. So yeah, it's probably about six six um, as far as the rod goes. The reel, like I said, a seven to one ratio. Um, and overall for a combo, it's really not that bad. It's not super heavy either. You'll notice with a lot of the cheaper uh, bait casters, especially, you're gonna get a really heavy reel or a really heavy rod, or overall it just feels very heavy where this one is very, obviously it has a little bit of lopsided to this because there's more weight to it. But overall it's a pretty, um, pretty balanced rod. And the eyes are mounted nicely. Obviously Luz is gonna have good quality, whatever they're selling. Um, so if you went and bought a $40 one, you're gonna get a quality $40 rod. Um, I definitely like Luz as far as their products go. And like I said, I've been using this thing pretty much as my main rod for over a year, and I haven't had any need to upgrade it. Um, obviously, if you want something smoother and better quality, I'll link a couple other ones that are much better below, but they're gonna cost you probably double the money. So if you're trying to get into that under $100 range, this, this rod, I, I personally would recommend it. And I think you can't really go wrong with it. Um, the one thing that I will notice about it that I'm not, I'm gonna be 100% honest with, is that the foam is starting to feel like it might be a little, uh, like a little deteriorated, like it's slowly starting to kind of deteriorate, which that probably wouldn't happen if you weren't keeping it in the bed of your truck for over a year. But 
Um, even still, it's not bad. It's still squishy. It's not like crumbly or anything like that. It just kind of has a feeling that like it might be starting to lose a little bit of it and become a little bit more brittle. But like I said, overall, you got your little hook holder down here, which is awesome for an under $100 rod. I know a lot of the cheaper rods don't come with that, which kind of sucks. Um, you got a basic breakdown over here of what it's, so obviously a 6.6 medium heavy rod and it's a 10 to 20 pound line or so it says to use um, I think I don't know what I have on here maybe 7 to 10 somewhere in that range maybe 13 I don't even 15 I have no idea what I put on here but it's somewhere in that range probably because it's been working perfectly fine um, I'll go ahead and, th and throw some shots of uh, casting it I know I'm not at water but I'm just gonna be casting it here in the uh, in the parking lot that's why I kind of chose a parking lot to record this video um, and since I just have this weighted hook or uh, the weighted weedless hook on there it shouldn't be an issue um, so yeah you can flip this if you want it's really no issue to like go ahead and flip um, like I said as far as reeling goes it's pretty smooth I don't really have any hiccups or any um, uh, it doesn't have that like clunkiness that like the cheaper rods um, I actually want to do a video if you guys think it'll be a good idea comment down below and leave a like on this video if you guys want me to go test out one of those $40 walmart reels and rod combos for the bait casting rods because um you'll be able to see it in those videos that the rod is very clunky and it just it kind of has like a grinding sound to it where this one is just cast and go um backlashes obviously are going to happen with any bait casting rod um i feel like you'll probably get more with this cheaper one compared to a 200 dollars one but overall it's not really that big of a deal one quick little tip for you guys, if you guys are new to getting into bait casters, which is probably a case if you're watching this budget $100, uh, under $100 bait caster video, then uh, one thing is if you get either loose, if you can see there, hopefully you can see it with the light. Um, if you get either like a kind of loose rat's nest or an actual rat's nest, one thing you can do uh, is go ahead and just tighten up your, uh, your, your knob over here and then just whip it out. So if it's just like that where it's loose, just whip it out as far as you can and you'll get rid of that looseness. Now, if you actually have a full on, if you have a full on rat's nest and it's really bad, don't do that because it's just gonna make it worse. But one thing you're gonna wanna do is if you have a full on rat's nest is go ahead and just tighten your spool knob as tight as you can and, uh, and just go ahead, release your button, press your button down and just slowly like pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it until you can kind of get it. And then sometimes you'll have to pull in here obviously and pull them around each other inside of the spool. But if you have this tightened all the way, it'll stop you from continuing to get it more while you're trying to work those out. So just go ahead and do that. And then, like I said, it'll make it, your life so much easier. I wish I would have known that when I first got it because I had a lot of trouble with backlashes and I'm sure you will too as you're learning. But uh, that's the great thing about having a budget rod is you can kind of figure those things out and work with them and not really care if you're abusing your rod a little bit too much, I guess. So yeah, just a quick tip I thought I'd throw in here. So let's get back to it. Um, like I said, this, this right here is pretty much a, uh, I would say it's on par with the high quality ones, but not like 100% if you were having a, say, if you were having say like a $200 one, um, it's not gonna be on complete par with those, but as far as it goes, I feel like it's pretty much on uh, like almost on par, but not quite there kind of thing. So like I said, you can pitch it, you can flip it, whatever you want to do, it's going to work for you. Um, if you don't want to go spend $200 on a rod right now or at any time, you can go ahead and spend $100. Like I said, the link down below, order it, get it in two days and you're going to be into bait casting. One of the things is with bait casters is you need to learn how to use them. So there's, there's no real negative to using a cheap bait casting rod. So if you were to get a $100 bait casting rod, it's gonna let you learn how to cast it and you're gonna be able to kind of figure out how to move it, how to whip it, how to do everything like that and figure out what setups are gonna work on it. Obviously, different ones are gonna have different weights that are gonna work better or worse on them. Um, pretty much, obviously. So overall, I would say it's a pretty much go-to. Uh, if anyone was ever asking me for a $100 or under $100 uh, bait casting setup, I'm 100% just gonna go ahead and tell them to go ahead and grab this because I feel like you really can't beat it for the money. Um, if you guys want me to test the cheaper one, let me know down below and I'll, uh, I'll definitely go ahead and check that out and see if I can get like my hands on like a cheap like 40 or $30 one and see if it's a lot less smooth or 
if it's about the same where you're gonna be getting the same value out of a $50 one versus 100, I feel like you're not. I feel like overall the $100 is gonna be that sweet spot where if you wanna spend and get it kinda of on a budget, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go with one of these, so. That's gonna be about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you click that like button down below. Of course, subscribe to stay up to date for future content. We got new videos coming every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on the channel. And of course, comment any questions about the rod or suggestions for any other rods that you guys might think that I could try or make a video about on the channel. But yeah, that's about it for this video, guys. Peace. <laughs>